Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to cut up a fabric panel before I forget to tell you. I have these panels on either eBay or my blog. I'm not sure which. There will be a link in the description box so you can go check them out. And what I cut today will be a penny auction on eBay. I have a bunch of these. I picked this one because it's a nice all over print. Very soft like pink and lots of flowers. Hard to show you. I'm going to show you what I can and then I'm going to put the um, image in a second. So hang on. But there's like more flowers on the bottom with gray stems and then it just gets you know to like flower sprinkles all the way to just little flowers up here. So let me show you the image. Don't know if that helped. I will absolutely be taking pictures at the end of the squares that I cut today. And I'm just going with five inch squares. I would have liked a little bit bigger, but it's hard with the sizes. Um, I don't know, let me think for a minute. Let's be wild and crazy. I'm going to do seven inch squares. I think that that will be nice. You'll see, you know, a lot of the bigger flowers. And then when we get to this, it'll still be cool. It'll just be seven inch squares um, with little flowers. Oh, and there's butterflies. So let me get my cutting board. We'll get started. Before I get started, I have three of these panels. For now, they might be sold out by the time I upload this. I had called this one Barnyard Art, and it's just funky, and I have a video where I cut this up. I don't really remember. I don't remember really how it turned out, but I will um, have these for you too if there's any available, and again, that might be on my blog. It might be on eBay, and you can go watch the video so I don't have to cut it again. I already did it. Okay, I just have this folded. I folded it in half lengthwise, the two salvages are up there, and in half again, and I'm just going to cut seven inch strips. This will go in my crumb box. I'm going to open up these strips. I thought I could cut them folded, but I think I'll get more squares if I open it because I think I'll be able to go right from salvage to salvage. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to do it. I'm just doing one strip at a time because I want to get as close to the salvages as possible. This worked out great. I'm able to get six seven inch squares out of each strip. So that's going to give us 18 squares. Let me just do the other two. That was easy. I like seven inch squares and there was very little waste. I mean, look, the salvages, there's not even any color on them. They're just all trimmed and I had just this for my crumb box. So let's look at these a little bit. Like I said, I will have pictures at the end. So you have some like this. These are the ones that are more toward the bottom, so there's more going on. Look at these pretty flowers. <gasps> I love, and these are the little scattered ones. I love it. More scattered, more scattered. Look at how dainty that is. Oh, so nice. I don't know which way is the right way. Look at that. It's really a pretty pink. 
And I like the gray. I don't know if those are stems or just, yeah, it's supposed to be stems. See the stem? It's gray. I like that. Pink and gray is awesome. And then we have some more scattered about. More with the branches. Here's another one of the more dense. Oh, so pretty. All right, so I'm just going to have these in a slideshow at the end. Don't forget to go look at the video for this guy. It really is cool. I think I especially liked the little piggy. But obviously, I don't have any cut for a penny auction. I'm sure it will talk about a penny auction in that video, but that is long gone. Um, but you can see what I did with this panel. Maybe you'll want one. All right, let me set up. Stick around for the slideshows. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.